Hello there! Today, we'll go over add-ons and extensions, what they are and how to enable and use them. So first, I want to go to the Edit and Preferences. And here we have two panels. We have the Get Extensions panel and Add-ons panel. And up here, it says that I'm missing built-in add-ons. And if I expand this window, I can see that I'm missing the two add-ons I use the most, so F2 and Loop Tools. They are not installed, and now it says that they can be found only on extensions.blender.org. So in short, we have Blender add-ons here that are built in by default. They are marked by this little Blender icon. So when I, for example, expand this Cycles Render Engine, it is built in and it cannot be uninstalled. Only thing I can do is, for example, uncheck the box to disable it so it is not used. And the other type of add-ons are the ones we add ourselves. So they are marked by this folder icon here. And they can be, of course, enabled if in the correct version. For example, Autorig Pro cannot. But if I click on the Bone Manager and expand the window, from here I can just configure some of the settings or even uninstall it. So I'll just disable this real quick. And then we have the Get Extension. It is a panel which allows you to browse add-ons and themes that are listed on the Blender Extensions platform, so the ones that we mentioned before. And it gives you the option to install them and update them here, which is awesome. So it is like a sort of an app store. And for example, here we can browse some extensions. Let me search for my 2F2 extension. So I can either click here to visit the website or even click install but if i want to install it says that i cannot do that because i need online access or the internet so we need to allow blender to use online internet and we can do that by either clicking here to allow online access or we can always go to the systems and click it from here so i'm just going to make sure this is ticked on and now we'll be able to get extensions can see i can click here to install my f2 add-on and what is done i can go to the add-ons and here it is i can now manage it enable it or disable it and it has the third icon here which actually means it is made by blender community and there are other ways we can install add-ons so for example if i search for loop tools i can even go here and visit the website or the blender extensions and so this is how it looks like. So here we have the add-ons panel, themes panel. And if I want to install the add-on, I need to click here to get add-on. And I have two options. So I can either drag and drop into Blender, which is pretty useful. So I just click here, drag, drop. It checks for updates. And you just need to click OK. And now Loop Tools is also available. And of course, let us go back and search for another add-on. The, the add-ons we find here are almost all made by either community or individual users and are actually approved. So they are of trusted quality and available for use. Let me, for example, check out Bioxel nodes. Pretty interesting. So what I can also do is click on Get Add-on. And we have another option to install. We can click here on the download button and get it in a form of a zip file. Which also works for add-ons that you found externally or have from before. So once again, I can go to the edit preferences. And now, if I click here, I have this option called install from disk. Now, what I can do is find the zip file and install it. And once again, it says it is installed. And let me just clear my search. And here it is. It's pretty amazing, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. So in the meantime, have fun trying out new different add-ons. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.